Auburn University Profiles, sketches of the personalities, ideas, and events that make Auburn University an exciting place. On today's program, we're talking again with Kay Ivey, the Vice President of the Auburn University Student Body, and Ben LaRavia, President of Omicron Delta Kappa. Speaking of the right things uh, transpiring, when's the date for the wedding? Well, Jim, uh, a lot of this will be determined by the date that I go into the Air Force, but right now it looks like it'll be August the 12th. Uh, I will be going to the Air Force the last of August, as it looks like now. So this looks like that this will be the, the big date, the jump off. Well, that's going to be the date y'all start uh, doing things together for good. But already on the campus, you two have been uh, participating in activities together, such as the BSU Skit Night. Uh, would y'all like to share with us a few of uh, your most hilarious moments of that evening's activity? Well, this does bring back a lot of fond memories, especially whenever I see some of the, the pictures that were taken that night. I understand that... Uh, should each of us ever reach a position that, that we could not remember back to our college days that all we need to do is come back to the Auburn BSU and look at some of those pictures that they took that night and I understand we would be quite humbled at this. <laughs> that is uh, true. <laughs> as I look at my fiance across the room I can see her that night she had on a, a pair of blue coveralls and she had put some black paint all over her face and she was uh, we were acting out this skit called Cigar Butts. Uh, I cannot go into the lengthy explanation, but to say the least, uh, I think that this, this skit, it did not require a lot of talent uh, as, far as, <laughs> as far as verbal talent, but it did uh, require a lot of physical acting, and uh, such as crawling around on the floor looking for cigar butts and things like this, which, <laughs> which certainly got a big reaction out of the audience. Uh, would you like to defend yourself from this low position that he's <laughs> placed you in now? Well, that was just my role for the evening. I'll tell you another funny thing that happened. Uh, it was about the end of the show, and the judges had retired, and Tom Malloy, who was directing it, told us, all right, we've got about five minutes. He said, just go tell about three jokes, and the judges will be ready, and that'll be fine. So Ben had two, and I had two. So we went out there and began to tell our jokes. Well, Ben told his, and Kate, won't you tell yours? I couldn't think of my joke. I knew both of them, but I could not think of them. And I panicked. I said, that's all right. You go ahead and tell you. And you were, so he did. And uh, then I, all this time I was back there scratching my head. And to save my life, I never did remember that joke. So he had to wind up singing a song that I had learned at camp. And then I forgot the punchline on the song. <laughs> <laughs> it, this brings back something else that I thought was quite funny that night. Kay went out uh, with me one time. We were just going to do a, just a short intermission skit. And... Uh, Whenever we came back behind the stage, she says, I saw Dean Foy out in the audience. I says, good. I says, I'll tell a joke on him. So I went back out there at the next intermission and just told this elaborate joke on Dean Foy. I just went into a lengthy explanation of it. And lo and behold, I came to find out the next day that he wasn't even there. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was it out there that might I have been no there? idea, but Dean Foy's got a double. <laughs> He's the object of quite a few jokes around here, isn't he? <laughs> I think from time to time, just by virtue of his position, that uh, he catches the brunt of a lot of jokes. We've been talking with Kay Ivey and Ben LaRavia. On tomorrow's program, we'll talk with Dean Samuel Coker, Dean of the Auburn University School of Pharmacy, and George Bauer, the student chairman of the School of Pharmacy's program on National Poison Prevention Week. Auburn University Profiles is produced by the Radio and Television Service of the University Relations Department. This is James Jamin speaking from the campus of Auburn University. And for